that you are doing utterly amazing. So just like water signs and fire signs, got you get to have my my bright smiling face today. Um, I may do this once a week, every other week, once a month. I don't know. Whenever I feel like it. Unfortunately, I could not get the camera to um, do my surface area to show you the cards on the counter, but I'm working on that. I'm going to get a new tri tripod. Hopefully that'll help. Oh, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. So today we're going to be using the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. If any clarifying is needing to be done, it will be from the Gilded. Uh-oh, low battery. Hopefully we'll have enough juice for y'all. If not, there'll be a brief delay and I'll be back. Sacred Traveler. And of course, Romance Angels. Okay, so we are going to start with the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. My son is an Aquarian. And uh, he likes it when I do a reading for him, but I don't put his energy into Aquarian cards. It'll be collective. So this is for December 7th through the 9th. 7th through the 9th. So many of you, uh, one of you is working on script writing, I think. How is that going? Um, so many of you are working on creative projects. It's just amazing. Literally amazing. So let me connect to you. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. After Aquarius, we will have Gemini and then Libra. Aquarius. Aquarius, December 7th through the 9th, please. So I hope you guys are all well. Are you ready for the holidays? 7th through the 9th, please. Our first card is the Justice card. Oops, I had the camera turned around the other way yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> the Justice card. Our second card is the world. Hmm. Those fell because of me. Let's see. Three more, please. Aquarius, December 7th through the 8th. Beautiful. The Fool. The Fool. If you have any Scorpio in your chart, check out Scorpio because they also had the Fool. Um. High Priestess. So far you have four major arcanas. This is a big weekend for you, Aquarius. For whomever this resonates with, this is a big deal. We're given six. We're going to take all six. Let me move these around. Okay. We have the Knight of Wands and the Death card. So five of our six. Let me let me see if I can show this to you like on the counter. I can't guarantee okay, Aquarius. Can't. I just got a phone call, so I had to stop. But um, hopefully this kind of gives you an idea. My tripod's broken, so I can't tilt it down for too long. But we have Justice, the world. The Fool, the High Priestess, Knight of Wands, and Death. All right. <laughs> five major arcanas. Five. Okay, I keep looking down to the left. I apologize, but that's where my camera typically is, and I swapped my phone around today. Um, so we're going to start with... The Fool, because I really believe that Knight of Wands energy is associated with the Death card. This tells me, Aquarius, that right now you are um, in a period of 
getting ready to embark on something new. Um, I'm getting confirmation. I, I'm feeling like this is uh, for a lot of you. Um, all of, remember, I was talking about the creative project just a minute ago. I feel like for a lot of you, it's like you have a renewed sense of enthusiasm. Like this might not be a brand new leap of faith or a brand new journey. It may be associated with the original one that you were doing. This, um, it's almost like. Like you've been working on your project, you've been working on your project, and suddenly a new idea came to light. And when that new idea came to light, a new direction came to light too. So I feel like there's a great deal of enthusiasm about embarking on this new journey. Um, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, clarity, and enlightenment. Being led by your heart, I feel like I'm not feeling relationship. Because what we got here is major. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's not that relation relationships aren't major, but I see no relationship cards here. Doesn't mean it's not a relationship issue, but I don't see any cards. This feels like this feels like a life change, like towards your destiny or towards some sort of tremendous growth or. Um, self-improvement or um, there's something there's something that I feel and I'm, I'm having trouble articulating it's like this particular thing is going to propel you in an entirely new direction but it's still regarding your passion something that you're very passionate about something that you that you love that you're um, very skilled at, um, very um, it feels. It feels like it's a merging of your skill and your passion, and moving in a direction that's going to just become very expansive. Now, here with this justice card, this justice card, the justice card, and the world card um, were in the past positions for this reading. And so the Justice card tells me that there was some aspect of your life that was um, extremely out of balance. You may have been putting more energy into work, less into life, or more into life, less into work. I feel like there's, there's a balance here as well with how much people are taking from you. Um, for some, I feel like it is money. For some, I feel like it is time. But I feel like like you've been very out of balance. Now this this card also tells you not to jump to conclusions, and I feel that um, some of you have been jumping to conclusions about the condition of your life. Like you you've had this feeling of um, not being very happy in your life, not being very happy with where you are in your life, and so you've just kind of some of you have sort of jumped to a conclusion of you know oh, I'm never going to get anywhere, blah blah blah. And that's, that kind of sets you in this state of unbalance, too. Well, with the World card, that's telling me that that particular cycle of being imbalanced is coming to an end. See how the World card's looking over here? It's coming to an end. You're able to look back at, at everything that you went through and see how it is bringing you to this great new potential journey. So I, I see how you see, it's almost like um, um, that song, uh, God Bless the, Bro the Broken Road, you know, so we're talking about relationships for a brief moment, but where how like every little step that you take leads you to that one great, great love, right? Well, I feel like that's the same sort of feeling I'm getting with regards to your life. You see how every step that you've taken, every decision you've made, every path you've, you've been on, every, everything that you've learned has brought you to your new journey where you can merge your skills and your passion to create something amazing. I feel like somebody's really um, I feel like somebody's really going far. Feels uh, oh what is it? 
I see, I see, I see. Light. Somebody, somebody's an, somebody's an actor. I see lights on a stage. I see lights on a stage. I feel like somebody's going far. Okay. Um, moving forward, <laughs> we have the High Priestess. This is telling me that you need to use your intuition as you embark on this new journey. You need to use your intuition. Your intuition is going to be heightened. So you're not using your sight. Your intuition is going to be heightened. And you're going to have to use your intuition with each step of the way. But it's also saying, Aquarius, to be very patient. Don't expect for everything to be perfect immediately. Be very patient um, as you move along on this new path. Oh, this is so beautiful. Love this reading for you. And then we finish off with this Knight of Wands energy. Now, the Knight of Wands came out with the Death card, and Spirit knew I only was asking for five, so I feel like these are together. The two of them go together. And so I feel as if there is a transformation in you moving to this new, beautiful beginning, this new, fresh start. The fresh start that we see with that fool card, right? But it's going to require you to let go of some past beliefs. I don't feel like this is past hurts. I feel like this is past beliefs. Beliefs that, that have become ingrained in you. Perhaps it's the way you look, the way you see yourself. Um, death to the former you and, and starting new with this bold, confident, take charge energy of the Knight of Wands. Um, it is saying goodbye to all the preconceived notions that you may have had about the direction that you needed to go in with regards to your skills and your passion um, and recognizing that this new direction is going to propel you somewhere really amazing. Um, I feel like it's, it's just letting go of the things that were blocking you and were no longer serving you and were keeping you from that forward movement. And you are going to be confident, be bold, and just take charge with that Knight of Wands energy. I should have gotten you a Sacred Traveler card ahead of time, but let's see what let's see what we're going to get there. And I really don't feel like this was a love reading. If you're looking for a love reading, uh, check your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus sign. See if there is one there. But I am going to take a Romance Angels just for those of you that. Are curious. Aquarius, December 7th through the 9th. Aquarius. <laughs> oh, I just love what I do. I love what I do. Okay. Choosing your path. Look, Aquarius. All is possible. All is possible. All is possible. Say it like three times over and over and over again. All is possible. This new journey that you are going on, choose your path wisely, but it looks like you're choosing your path this weekend. You see a direction that you could go in. I'm feeling that very, very strong for you. Very strong. You see a path that you can go in and you are choosing that path and you are going to blaze a trail. You're going to blaze a trail. I believe that many of you were going to know your names in another 10, 15, 20 years. You're just starting. You're starting a pathway of excellence. I just feel it. It's like I feel like somebody is going to be, you know, in the spotlight. A star. I'm surprised we didn't get the star card, actually. Okay. Aquarius. Okay. Well, now we know why there was no love reading. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Aquarius. So, this won't be for everybody. However, those of you that are severely focused on, on your path, your your passion, what it is that you want to achieve. Um, if you're having some struggles in your, in your love life, it might be because there's unrequited love here. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And uh, it looks like you have a primary focus of achieving something great in your life. So, Aquarius, absolutely positively beautiful. I'm excited for you. I really am. That's amazing. Have a fabulous day. Now, if you're dealing with a Gemini or Libra, you know, Gemini is coming up next. Libra, timestamp down below. 
And those of you that were cross-watching for Aquarius and unrequited love came up, don't sign bash my Aquarians. <laughs> I'm not going to let them sign bash you either, so don't do it, please. Let's keep this a positive location for people to encourage one another. Thank you so much. All right, Aquarius, see you later. Gemini. My social butterflies. All the Geminis I know are social butterflies. They're just super, super social, jovial. Everybody loves them. They're really great conversationalists, but there's a little bit of insecurity there behind all that for some of them, I think. So I don't know if you have that insecurity behind you when you're in a group, but man, you shine in a group, that's for sure. People gravitate towards you. All right, Gemini, December 7th to the 9th. Please, Gemini, Gemini. The moon card. The moon card. We got the eight of swords. All right, whatever. <laughs> it's coming out fast. Not my choice. Three of pentacles. Those, I dropped those. Two more for Gemini, please. Gemini, Gemini. December 7th to the 9th. How are y'all? Your cards don't want to come out. <laughs> like we had three really quick. The Lovers. That's a Gemini card. All right. In case you're wondering why I stopped. Sometimes I feel as if I'm being led to stop. And <laughs> look at that. The Ace of Cups. Beautiful. Oh, I did not show Aquarius the bottom of their deck. Apparently, I was not meant to. They had so many major arcanas, so. Gemini, the bottom of your deck. We have the Two of Swords. The Hangman. Four of Swords. High Priestess. Okay, you got three Pisces cards that just came out. So, um, you may be dealing with a Pisces, and I don't always say that, um, but for, for some of you, this may actually be the case. I don't like to do that because I like for you to focus on the energy of the card, but the moon card is a Piscinian card, and it could, you know, primarily, the hangman is a Pisces card. The High Priestess is Pisces, but is also Cancer. Cancer can sometimes be related to the moon, or sometimes people equate Scorpio to it. But um, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing you being very guarded, having a lack of trust in somebody. Um, if you're, if you are dealing with somebody who is exhibiting the energy of a Pisces. Um, and it's somebody that you're seeing, you know, they're, they are very, very, um, very much attract people, people's attention and not intentionally, it just sort of happens. You may be feeling a little bit, um, a little bit jealous or insecure of that and that might be causing a little bit of a trust issue there. saying lack of trust they're telling you to trust this situation is calling for you to have faith <laughs> oh Gemini you need to trust this person and this person could be a new love a new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings now that won't be for everybody usually when I get more than one card one card has to, is for like one group and, and the next card is for another. Um, but with this, with this, you know, two of swords followed by the hangman and the four of swords and the high priestess, it's telling me that you're really, you're really struggling trying to figure out um, from your gut whether or not you can trust this person. Um, you're being very, very closed off. You don't want to be vulnerable. You're protecting your heart. 
but you're kind of in a stuck position. These two cards are stuck stationary cards. So right now, the state that you're currently in is you're trying to work with this person. You're trying to get to know this person. Um, you're, di you're discovering each other's strengths and weaknesses and, and how, um, how you guys will work together in a potential love relationship. Um, for those of you that are married or already in a committed relationship, you are very likely at a point where you're trying very hard to work together to get beyond some emotional strains that the, the two of you may be having. The reason I say that is because first we have the moon card. The moon card can bring a lot of confusion and anxiety and these are in our past positions. And we have the eight of swords and the eight of swords is also a card that has to do with a lot of worry and anxiety and um, mental struggles of your own making really. See she's, she's, she's bound and, and blindfolded and this is all a, a mental entrapment of her own because those swords are, are not anywhere near to harm her. So, not knowing what direction you're moving in with this person, or not knowing if you're in a relationship with this person, um, what direction you're going in to resolve a issue that has come up. Um, has left you in, in this state of kind of, you know, continual mental turmoil about it and not knowing exactly what to do. But that led up to this point where you're trying your best to try to figure out, you know, how do you fit together? You know, like, like you know, do you have similar interests? Do you have similar ways of handling things? Um, you know, if you're having a bad day, <laughs> Well, what's it going to do to the to the relationship? If you're having a great day, you know, um, is this person encouraging? Does this person, you know, vibe really well with you? Uh, are they going to vibe well with your friends? Are they going to vibe well with your family? Uh, I'm just, you know, coming up with stuff. It's just things to make you think. Um, but moving forward. <laughs> Gemini is just outstanding. I mean, this person is great for you. You definitely need... You definitely need to learn to trust this person. Okay, so going forward, we have the Lovers and the Ace of Cups. The Lovers, like I said, is a Gemini card. This has to do with a very, very, very deep bond. As you can see, they're, they're like, they're, you know, intertwined with one another. It's like this kind of deep bind, bond is one that is so hard to break. It's all encompassing, though. So it's like you want to spend, you know, 24 seven with each other because you're just like, there's so much chemistry. There's so much passion. It develops super, super rapidly, but there's a danger in the fact that, um, you may get so wrapped up in each other. You can end up codependent or, um, you could end up at a point where you're not allowing the other person room to breathe and, and, you know, be themselves. So be cautious about that this weekend, especially you guys might need to this weekend. I foresee y'all spending a great deal of time together, but, um, you might need to also allow each other, you know, some room to breathe. So keep that in mind. And then with this ACE of cups, this says that this is a really great new beginning for you, Gemini one that is going to be emotionally fulfilling it's going to be filled with affection filled with love it's just at the beginning stages right now but it's absolutely positively beautiful um, and from what i've seen with these cards you can trust this person so learn how to trust have a beautiful weekend oh wait wait we forgot one card we forgot our sacred traveler card for gemini that would have been bad not really. It's just going to equate to what we already have out, but sometimes, sometimes we get uh, something new. So, let's see, Gemini, December 7th to the 9th. Surrendering to the journey, release control. Okay. So you may be you may be backing away from this a little bit. It might be a little bit too scary for you at the moment because. 
it is so rapidly moving and so intense. And so this card is saying, you know, try not to control the situation. Let it play out naturally. Let things happen as they will. And um, try to let go of any desire for it to happen in a specific way, in a specific time frame. And just, you know, enjoy your time together. All right, Gemini, have a beautiful weekend. Let's move on to Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. How are my wonderful Libra viewers? I hope you're wonderful. I hope you've been very, very, had a very full day. It's been very balanced and you haven't had to get stuck in any kind of indecision. Because I know making decisions is hard for you guys. Hopefully this weekend you can just relax. Let's see what we've got for you. Libra, 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 Libra. Feeling a sad energy from somebody. Let me move my crystals. They're in my way. Um, somebody, somebody's feeling very, very sad about something. It's like. Libra, there's one of you that um, is on the verge of tears because I'm feeling I'm feeling those tears well up. Um, I feel like it might just be overwhelmed by the week, overwhelmed by life. Something deep within your soul is making you feel. Overwhelmed and, and like things are out of control. It's just for one of you. Okay, Libra, December 7th through the 9th. December 7th through the 9th. For the Libra who feels overwhelmed, you really need to take some time for you this weekend. Feel you need you need rest. I need to refocus your mind on something else. Okay. Libra, December 7th through the 9th. 7th through the 9th. The King of Swords. Ah, the Six of Cups. Libra, Libra, Libra. The Four of Pentacles. If you wonder why I'm always looking down while I'm shuffling, it's because I'm concentrating on the energy. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Bottom of the deck for you, we have the Four of Cups. See, there's that sadness I was feeling. Intense sadness. The Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Okay, the sadness seems to be regarding a love relationship. Love relationship is kind of hot and cold and moving very slow. Love relationship, hot and cold, moving very slow. One that you feel a deep connection to. I'm not sure if they are. There's a lot of passion there. Libra, Libra, December 7th to the 9th, 7th to the 9th. Okay, this one was turned up. We had a lot that fell down on the table, but this was the only one turned up. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And see, it's like... It's that feeling I was talking about earlier, that kind of like deep down in the soul burden. Somebody needs to release their ex. There may be a lot of you that need to release your ex. Maybe you're holding on to some, some stuff of your exes that is allowing that energy to remain.
dated a Libra in high school. <laughs> long, long time ago. December 7th to the 9th. 7th to the 9th. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So I feel like there's a lot of you that are dealing with that sadness. So um, there's a great number of you that are kind of struggling with some sadness related issues associated with a love life or former love life. So, um, or for s this also could be some of you who, and the reason I say former love life is because we have this six of cups here reminiscing, but for, bear with me just one moment. What do you need, sweetheart? Do you just need attention? I'm almost done. Um, for those of you that are, um, for those of you that are married or in a committed relationship this could also be related to you in the sense that you know you may be remembering fonder times maybe you're having some struggles right now um, I do see that we are going to be going in a good direction okay so let me just preface everything by saying that the sacred traveler cards that we got says answering the call the time is now and rejuvenating rain clear the past heal the present. Clear the past, heal the present. Okay. I've been going very long on the air signs today. My apologies for those of you that prefer short videos, but I had a lot of information to get out. So, so right now, Libra, you're you're in this um, this energy of uh, you're afraid you're going to lose something. I feel like you're either going to you're afraid you're going to lose the person you're with now because you can't let go of the past. You can't get low. Uh, there's some of you that I feel maybe in love with somebody from your past, and it's it's interfering with your present relationship. A um, couple of you, I feel, recently were contacted by somebody um, from your past. I'm feeling like it's within the last one to two months, possibly three. And um, that has caused you to be in, in a cycle in your head. And now, for those, those few, you're afraid you're going to lose what you have now because of these feelings that you have from your past. For others, you're afraid of losing this person that you can't seem to release. You're afraid that they're going to move on without you. Um, you're afraid that they're not going to come back to you. You're afraid that you can't move on without them. And um, this is causing a great deal of emotional strain, uh, a lot of um, headache and heartache. I feel like there's a lot of you who are losing sleep. There's also some of you who are unable to see things clearly right now because of that. In the recent past, we have the King of Swords energy. I feel like there's been some communication that has come in that's been very harsh, um, whether this is a current partner, a former partner, or somebody who you recently cut ties with. Um, I feel like this communication did come in from a love interest. It, it was very, very harsh. It was very open and honest, but it was delivered in such a way that it, it, it pierced your heart. Thus, our sadness here. Intense sadness. And having been parted from this person, you're now in a state where you're remembering the good times. You're forgetting the bad times. So, if this ex was not good for you and this ex was toxic for you, you are forgetting those those points. You know, the, that uh, uh, is a, it might be... Uh, Something about, uh, you know, how love kind of covers up all of that. You know, there's there's this sense that you're remembering all, all the great times that you had together and how wonderful that was. And you're forgetting the times that were difficult and, and harsh and, you know, cutting. Um, let me just say, for Libra and for Cross Watchers, no sign bashing in the comments down below, please. 
going forward, Libra, I do see that you're going to gain your stability back. And I feel like you are being called to do just that. I feel like you're being called to focus on getting your stability back and working on self-improvement. In this reading, I feel like this is entirely self-improvement. I know a lot of you, when we see the Hierophant, it can have to do with um, relationships forming or people getting married or things of that nature. I'm feeling with this strong need for healing of the past, releasing the ex. Um, this here says to stop feeling sorry for yourself and, and open up your eyes. I feel like this is self-improvement. So you're being called to work on you. Let me just say that again. And, and I can like even show you in this card. Answering the call. The time is now. You, male or female, there's just a female on the card. You are stepping forward this, through this door to walk in a pathway that benefits you. You're being called to work on you. You're being called to learn how to love yourself and understand that you are enough, you are worthy, and you are capable of achieving anything. You're capable of going in any direction you want to go in. And you don't need to be treated poorly and you will find love, you will, you will appreciate one another when you find that right person for you. For those of you that are in a committed relationship now that has been through some, some struggles and some difficulties, I see that that's going to be changing. And that's going to get back to a more loving connection like you once had. And for some of you, you may be renewing your vows, even if it's just mentally with the two of you. But Libra, I'm really feeling for the majority of you, you, you need to let go of all, you need to let go of whatever toxicity there was here from this, that this communication really exposed and um, you, you need healing. You need healing from this past. I know you're holding on to these memories and sometimes this can have to do with reunion and reconciliation. Um, there may have been a recent connection with this person, like I said, but I feel like going forward, the whole emphasis needs to be on you, working on you. You need healing, you need time, you need you know, self-love, affirmations, um, self-improvement, meditation, etc. Whatever works for you, self-improvement. All right, air signs, have an absolutely beautiful weekend. Uh, weeklies will be back to just my hands. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.